Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mafia 3. Um, basically the game fucked up. Uh, it fucked up in regards to now um, we've actually taken the uh, the hollow from the Dixie Mafia and we've actually killed the main guy. Um, actually in the background of this screenshot you can see the setting of it. Um, I mean if we press here and we have a look you will see that We've taken Dari Hollow for ourselves, um, and all of these different things. We've earned thirty thousand out of fifty thousand for that. Uh, so we have different, uh, actually, got different quests here. Um, we have talked to Emmanuel. Uh, okay, uh, he gives us steady supply of weed coming into the city. Uh, it needs to help us with weed drops. Uh, here is uh, Donovan's dig up. Uh, Donovan's dug up some couple, uh, a couple of potential candidates for recruitment. So that's where we want to go. I'm gonna head out there. Do we really want a family car? No, not really. Is our car anywhere nearby? Is it around the corner here? I don't know whether this is our car or not, but we'll take it anyway. Don't think anyone's gonna mind whether we do or not. So let's uh, re add that marker and see you there. Alright, we're here, so let's go see what uh, Donovan has to say. Um, our good CIA friend. Making an awful lot of noise in our wet shoes. Alright, here we go. Come on. Setting up a radio or Bob. something. Oh. This goddamn thing keeps jamming up. If you're ready to see the other briefings, we can get started. Yeah, uh, it looks like a cinema set. Who else you managed to dig up? You got it. Two of the city's finest scumbags. Hmm. Story mission unlocked. Cut and run. Pick up, uh, pick up Dirk's boss, uh, dossier. Uh, Burke's dossier. Donovan's got a full write-up on, on Thomas Burke. Okay. Oh, yes. Point for Dunn's favorite son, Thomas Burke. How's he doing since Danny? <laughs> Nine weeks ago, Burke stumbles into Roman the Butcher Barbieri's deli, drunk off his ass, waving a gun around. He fires off ten rounds, but the only thing he manages to hit is a fucking ham hock in the goddamn deli case. The Butcher's boys slap the shit out of him and toss him in a dumpster. Barbieri's the one who took mm -hmm. over Point for Dunn, right? Busted up Burke's leg with a tire iron. That's why Burke was willing to go along with the robbery. He thought it would make things square with Sal, and he'd be able to get point for done back. But he always struck me as an asshole. Yeah, just like every other Irishman. But he hates Marcano as much as you do. Yeah, all right. That's true. Least I can do is give Danny's old man a chance for a little payback. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> He's been spending his time in a dive bar up in Point for Dunn. Duffy's, it's called. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Yo, you better be worth all this trouble. Seems like he wants us to move to a different zone. Um, and what's this guy? The man himself, Mr. Vito Scaletta. You gotta be shitting me. The last couple months have been pretty tough on old Vito. Sal's always hated him. Thought he was a mole for the commission, but he couldn't do anything about it because Vito's made. After the heist, Sal refused to pay Vito his cut. And then he put the clamps on him. He's been trying to limit Vito's ability to pay what's owed. Hmm. And so that it can't kick up, the commissioner gave Marcano permission to whack him. The only reason that Vito is still above ground is because he has a couple off-the-record businesses. He's been using that money to pay Sal. Gotta give Skelet credit. Pretty goddamn tenacious. He's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would, but the clock is ticking. A couple weeks ago, Sal sent in his nephew, a kid named Michael Greco, to... Help Vito run River Row. Okay. Greco's been using his guys to limit what Vito can do, where he can go. Once he has Vito completely boxed in, he'll make his move. Scaletta has to know what Greco has planned. I'll pay him a visit. See if I can't leverage this thing with Greco to bring Scaletta around in my way of thinking. I'm sure I'll appreciate your concern. Hmm. Okay. So you have plenty of different things we can do. Uh, we have... Uh, Convince Burke, who is all the way up here, uh, 
down. There's a fuck ton of junction boxes around there as well. Uh, Father James Ballard around in the French Ward downtown. So he's in point for Dunn. Frisco Fields up there. And then obviously you've got the uh, Bailu. But in River Row we have Vito. But for today what we're going to do is uh, pay uh, this guy, is it, Emmanuel? Just so... Um, you know, just so we don't move on, start doing other things before we've helped. Uh, so just so we can go out our way to help people. Alright, so we're pretty much it. So we're going to have to go see what this guy wants. Hopefully it's a decent payout. And uh, that can pretty much be about it. Great. He's over the other side, so we're going to get our suit wet. Also hoping that there's no uh, alligators or anything in the river. Ah, you want to buy something? You need to talk to Cassandra. She said you could use some help. Assuming you're a man, you... Hmm. Assume at your own risk, Lincoln Clay. So running the weed, y'all got a routine laid out? We take a boat to the bayou, grab the bears, bring them back. Bayou can be a rough territory. Dixie Mafia knows every inch. Hmm. <laughs> Does those white boys scare you, friend? Did they touch your zozo when you were a child? Sandra failed to mention your charming personality. Uh, I highly doubt she forgot. You do this kind of thing back in Haiti? Back in my country, I was a hoogan. A priest. What does a priest know about trafficking weed? I did not run marijuana halfway. My cargo was refugees, people. I saved their lives, got them away from Duvalier. Hmm. But you probably don't know much about that. We gonna have a problem, you and me? Cassandra says we are partners. That everything is cool between us. Are we cool? Don't think I call it that. Neither would I. Okay, he's a bit of an asshole. Cassandra might be able to let go of what you did to our people. But I cannot. Maybe you'd be happier back in Haiti. It was hmm. not my child to come here. Leave my home. But I'm trying to make the best of it. Aren't we all? There are still Dixie Mafia scattered around the hollow. If you have the time, you should see to them. Convince them to leave. I guess we should, really. But is that all he's going to get us to do? Is there anyone around here? D no, there isn't really. As such, uh, when we zoom in here, loads of different lounges, uh, lots of cosmetic things to pick up. Uh, we've got the grocery store there, obviously a laundrette there, uh, pawn and loan shop there. Um, petrol place, so there's a lot of these things. There isn't really anything major, there's loads more fuses around here. Uh, whereabouts are we? Okay, we're done here. Um, Okay, let's head round to some of these junction boxes over here. Trafficking is an, op op uh, an option, an optional way to increase an underboss's earn. That allows them to pass along more kickback to you. Okay, it's not too bad. Uh, right. A shipment of weed is being delivered down in the bayou. Get a boat, use it to bring everything back. Okay. Cassandra never opened up to me about her own history. As much as I tried to be <laughs> an ear when she needed to talk, letting go and trusting are very hard to do. That is quite true. Now, where, does we, where do we actually want to go? He wants us to get onto a boat. Yeah. I think I'm the wrong side. No. How have we ended up here? How have we actually ended up in here when we were at the boat place before? 
Jesus Christ. This place right, thanks to you. Uh, okay, it's actually just, just around the back. Is it down here to the right? Do we just need to jump in this boat? Is that what he wants? Even though there isn't one. Oh no, there is one around here. Jump. Nope. Missed it. This is not going to give us any option. No, okay. We do have something around there, so I think it's just head off this way. It is. Let's swing around to the left here. Not not exactly going to be the quickest route round somewhere. Head over there. Yep. Bit of a different way round. Experience the uh, water. It was a log or an alligator? I didn't really see. Okay, maybe we can. Which side do we need to dock up on? It will be the. Will be this side. Some side. Somewhere just over the other side of this bridge. Would do us lovely. At this wooden dock, I can see in the distance. Okay, they are actually alligators. Maybe, maybe if we. Yeah, there should be a place that we can kind of slip ourselves into around here. Oh shit. <laughs> Don't want to be staying in that water for too long. Right, okay, so there is a fuse just in here. Is it a fuse? No, there's a load of money. Where is this fuse? Okay, it's just over there. 50 meters away, we can we can run that, dry ourselves off. It's just around here to the corner. Not enough fuses, three required. Ah, okay, shit, these are the junction boxes, but we don't actually have any junction boxes. Um, so we're just gonna have to go pay Vito a visit. Hopefully we can borrow a car. We don't really want to be gathering the police's uh, attention as we're going to go pay another criminal a visit. Okay. Um, there's a few parked up here. We can obviously gather. This guy's jeep is uh, quite a good option, actually. See if he notices it. We stand right behind him and take his car. Let's just drive off. Yeah, it's, just, it's not exactly the quickest car. Great. We need to. Um, what's all this? Okay, so we need to hide ourselves from the cops first of all, then also get our way over to Vito. And I don't think, see, as you can see here, we do have a uh, decent amount of weapons. We have the Czech uh, semi-auto pistol kind of thing, submachine gun, 19 bullets in, and we have a Hartman, 15 uh, rounds. This is an Awesome, awesome weapon. It is so unbelievably good. Um, get him down. Where was the other guy? Okay, he's actually left and gone out in a... Uh, 
Okay, they did actually spot me. Um, where, where are they? You can see it's it's uh, it's just really accurate. It's pretty quick fire, but it's also really accurate. See, so accurate. <laughs> Great. The problem is there, <laughs> for some reason, it just wouldn't let you look around. It was kind of like, yeah, we're just going to run in this direction and uh, hope that all goes well. Okay. It's just going to take us in here again. Any word about how it's going in there? How do you think? Reed was taking his beating. Quick, quick. So let us kill the post some bitch and get it over with. Nah, Greco wants to show how tough he is. What the fuck? Get him! They, they have no idea where we are. They don't know where we are. They don't know where we are. There's one guy around here somewhere. Get behind him! Ow. We could definitely do with grabbing ourselves that health kit, which we know is over there. Where's the rest of them? Okay, so we've got one guy around there. We don't actually have any ammo left. So let's just make sure we hit him. I think we hit him. I'm not even that sure. Okay, do we have anyone? He's here! Come tell us a little motherfucker your own size. It's not very accurate, is it? And if he's not dead, he should burn himself up a bit there. Okay, we are actually running proper low on ammo. Okay, pop your head around, pop your head around, pop your head around, come on. There we are. Probably gonna have to uh, regrettably give up. Okay, let's whack out the pistol. Just because I can't stand them, I don't think they're accurate at all. Don't know whether we can shoot through him. Okay, we have got a barker over here. Can we? No. We can't seem to clip him. Cover my ass. Give that stupid son. What the hell? We got you now, dipshit. Okay, there's someone in there, but I think there's a. Let's see, there's a gas tank. Okay, come on. Get him. Okay, I'm gonna l end up legging him. Okay, we're gonna have to. Come on. Take him out and pinch his one. Do we? Hmm. No, let's let's go with the Barker, just because uh, between them, I think it's it's just more accurate. Okay. 
Okay, why are we... Fr I, I still don't understand why we're freeing him, but... Okay. Let's take that out. It's fucking freezing in there, that's a bit harsh. Looks like I got here just in time, Vito. Link? How's this possible? I thought you were dead. The bullet was deflected by my skull. Came out the back. Talk about some goddamn luck. Worst place to shoot a fella's in the forehead. The skull's harder than you think. <clears throat> True. Come on. We need to have a talk. When I heard about what happened, I went to Marcano asking my cut right then and there. I figured if he fucked you and Sammy, I'd be next. Hmm. Guessing he didn't go for it. Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. He wanted me running around, buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur never sat on a big score before. Hmm. The money I fronted for the robbery was pretty much everything I put away. Didn't have enough to run, so... I stayed. The commission wouldn't let him just kill me, so... I figured I'd make that cocksucker jump through every hoop. Make him prove I deserve to get whacked. Hmm. Not much, but it was something. Heard he brought in his nephew to push you out. A kid named Michael Greco. Nephew by marriage, not blood. didn't number in here. Yeah. They were looking to see what other rackets I was running. Hmm. Like I'd leave a fucking paper trail in my office. Eh, nah, don't bother with that shit. No, nope, no. Nope. Look, uh... Appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh... What are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. I'm gonna need your help. Look, pretty much whittle me down to nothing. I mean, this is it. For now, maybe. But once I take back River Road from Greco, money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. Also, we're partners now. As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want. Hmm. <laughs> so goodbye, Marcano, hello, Lincoln Clay. It's either that or more of this. Next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer. <laughs> it's fighting talk here, but he's, uh, I think he's gonna fall for it. I think he's gonna come with us. Nobody kills that scumbag with me. You bring me Greco. I'm in. Tell me about his rackets. Hmm. So we need to know. Dock Union, and he's got a warehouse. He has a lot of valuable shit in there. You take both of them out. Greco's finished. A couple of my guys been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. They'll fill you in. All right. We will do that, guys, but uh, that's something we'll be doing in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. I've been Pete Bush, as always. As always, if you enjoyed, uh, subscribe if you're new around here, like the video, uh, leave a comment, whatever you like to do. But apart from that, peace. You can call in the cons consigliere to come pick up and store your extra cash if it's not lost. Okay. That's his bonus. But anyway guys, thanks for watching and see you soon. Peace.